Democrats have won every election for U.S. House in Rhode Island since 1992, but the new poll suggests this could be the year Republicans break that streak. Ever since Rhode Island Congressman Jim Langevin made the surprise announcement he would retire rather than seek re-election, Democrats have been nervous they could lose his seat this fall. A new poll from the Boston Globe and Suffolk University shows why. The survey of 423 likely voters in the 2nd Congressional District finds Republican and former Cranston Mayor Alan Fung on top with 45 percent, ahead of Democrat and General Treasurer Seth Magaziner at 39 percent. 17 percent of voters are undecided in a Fung-Magaziner matchup. This this shows it's a competitive race at this point. 12 News political analyst Joe Fleming says he expects Fung to focus his message on the economy and inflation, while Democrats play up the Supreme Court's decision to eliminate the constitutional right to abortion. Alan Fung right now is in a nice position. It's going to help him raise money. There's no question he'll use this for fundraising. He has to now capitalize on it because the Democrats are going to come after him with everything once his campaign starts. Before Magaziner can face Fung, he needs to defeat five challengers for the Democratic nomination. The Globe-Suffolk poll surveyed 172 likely Democratic primary voters in the 2nd District. Magaziner was well ahead at 30%. Joy Fox and David Siegel trailed behind at 8% each, while 43% of primary voters were undecided. Three other candidates were in single digits. Fleming says the dynamic in the primary hasn't changed since our 12 News Roger Williams University poll in early May. They were all in single digits. He's up in the low 30s, uh, 22 points, a lot of points to make up. You have to come up with an issue that can motivate the voters and excite the voters to vote for you. So far, none of these other candidates have done that. One thing to keep in mind, early voting for the primary starts on August 24th, so candidates have less than two months to get their message out before the first ballots are cast. Ted Nisi, 12 News.